Winter is coming. Supposedly it's gonna snow this weekend, so I wanna get this uh, snowplow blade on my Kubota BX tractor. And actually it's got a steel cutting edge on it and I have asphalt, so I've bought this uh, OEM really thick, nice rubber blade. Uh, so we're gonna swap that out too and I'll show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do, we don't have to, but the first thing I'm gonna do is get the bucket off and put the snowplow blade on just so it's kind of up in the air and easier to work with. All right, we need to get the steel blade off of here. And it's all right, these are 24 millimeter. Let's see if my uh, electric impact will take these off. Okay, the way this blade assembles is basically you got your blade and then a spacer, the rubber, and then the steel piece on the front. Unfortunately, the spacer is sold out everywhere. It's like discontinued. I couldn't find it online. So I was able to buy it, uh, a piece of plastic I think is gonna work. So I'll show you that right now. So here's the metal, you know, these are uh, square. So the bolts don't slide on the front. And then here's the piece of plastic I bought. Um, I'll, I'll put a link to where I bought this at. It, I, you know, it's supposed to be a piece of steel, but the steel was really expensive and I didn't want to have to drill these huge holes, huge holes in steel. And honestly, all this thing does is space the rubber blade. So I bought, you know, the exact same size as what would have come in a kit, but just plastic and I'm going to drill this out. So we're going to do that. The other thing you're going to need is um, longer bolts because this rubber is so thick. So these are the ones that come with the plow. These are the ones you need. So I bought one of these from Messix and then I bought this um, pack of them on Amazon. So I'll put a link to those too, but they're five eighths um, by 11, they're three inch bolts and then uh, five eighths by 11 pitch. So this plastic piece is, goes in here uh, and it fills that gap and lets this thing sit nice and flush. So anyway. All right, I don't have a drill bit, you know, obviously big enough for these. I only have up to a half inch for a regular drill bit. So I'm gonna use a, a paddle bit. These are 5 eighths inch bolts. So 5 eighths, it's not probably gonna be big enough. Um, you know, you're gonna wanna go a little bit bigger than 5 eighths. So I'm gonna use three quarters. Uh, it'll give me, it'll be just a little bit bigger. It'll give me a little bit of wiggle room in case I make a mistake and that bolt will still go in there. It's time to put it on again. You're gonna need seven uh, five eighths, three inch bolts, and then I bought uh, new nuts and washers. Uh, All right, let's get this thing installed. Remember, your metal's got to go in front, uh, and this bolt goes through it. And then we're gonna go in the bottom hole to keep the blade as high as possible, since it hasn't been used at all. It shouldn't be worn out at all yet. And then we're finally gonna have to go through this plastic. Uh, this plastic spacer here. All right, it's installed. Uh, hopefully I get to use it. I went, uh, I did 30 foot pounds of torque. Uh, this, I kind of bent this bar in just a little bit. I probably went a little tight with the impact. I should have uh, just torqued them all. But anyways, I don't know what the torque setting is supposed to be. It's a lock, nusher, lock washer, so I'm not concerned. Um, I think they'll be fine at 30. So that's it. Uh, looks really good. Looks really beefy. It's a really good view here to show you what that spacer does. 
Um, you know, if, if you had this rubber just on here, it would really bend that rubber. So that spacer just gives you this gap. That's why I, I, I wish it was steel, but I, I wasn't going to spend the money and try to drill out those big holes into steel with the stuff I have. So I think this plastic's going to be just fine. All it's doing is holding a gap right there. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember, if you liked the video, uh, hit the thumb under the video. It's a like button. It helps out my channel. And uh, I really appreciate you watching. If you want to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell, you'll get notifications anytime I put a video up. And uh, check out the links in the video description. That helps out my channel too. And, um, you know, it'll help you find some of the stuff I use. Thanks again. Appreciate you watching. Remember, winter is coming. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.